Hey, welcome to the Julia Monte channel. If we're just meeting, I am Julia and I'm a women's fiction author. Now, last time that we met, we talked, I shared uh, a video of my next, of the character that will be a, the main character in my next book. So my previous book was, that was then. And my new book, I'm still playing with the title, is probably going to be This Is Now. That was then, this is now. So today I'm introducing the character. His name is David Ray. And the interesting thing about this, so if, if you're a writer, you, you, I don't know how you do it, uh, and if you're a, a book reader, maybe this will give you a little um, uh, insight into how at least I, how I create my characters, but typically I think about them for a long time, I know who they are, and I plan everything about them, their name, everything about them. Uh, with this character, uh, it, he was introduced, he, he had one scene in That Was Then. Uh, Margarita meets him at the airport. They don't, uh, he likes her, she doesn't really, she just thinks he's kind of annoying. And if you've ever been in an airport and people start talking to you and you don't really want to talk to them, but you do anyways, I'm gonna take this off because it might be creating some light. But, so sometimes you don't really, you know, you, 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 you try to be polite. Well, she wasn't even trying to be polite. She was just kind of saying, leave me alone, I don't really want to talk to you. But she, by the end of the trip, where he keeps kind of helping her out, she ends up liking him and they exchange cards and that's the end of it. That's all you know about him in That Was Then. But I, when I thought of who's gonna be the love interest for Margarita, I thought it has to be him. It was, first of all, he was already introduced and there was, kind of, there was a chemistry between them and I kind of liked it and I wanted to explore that a little bit more. Honestly, the only thing I didn't like about him was his name. So his name uh, was David, and nothing wrong with David, except that her mom's husband's name is Daniel. And as I was writing David and Daniel, I, I thought, you know what, I'm not sure that having two characters that both start with a D is going to be good. And I wasn't sure, it was, maybe it was just in my head, and I didn't want to confuse anyone, and I thought, you know what, what can I do with this? How can I, how can I fix this? Because now that's his name. I gave him that name. And um, so what I did, one of the things that you have to do as an author is be a little flexible and be a little creative and say, okay, what am I going to do? I'm stuck with this guy's name being David. Uh, so she ends up calling him by his last name. And I thought, well, why would anybody call the guy that she loves by her, his last name? You know, you don't go around saying, hey, Hey, Smith, right? So, but in Spanish, Ray means king. And so I, so she, I figured out a little playful thing that she does. She calls him my King David and, and then ends up being just Ray. Uh, and it's a little thing between them and, and it becomes really cute in the book. And one of the things that as writers you have to do is like, well, learn how to fix things, right? So some, not everything is gonna work out well. You may end up with, uh, something like this where the character you need to figure out how to make this character work or it could be other things it could be something in your setting that just isn't right but you have to make it work um, so anyhow I, I did stick with with David Ray she does call him Ray and uh, so I created a video in uh, to introduce him and see what you think so I'm gonna play it now and uh, then we'll talk about what you thought David Ray fell in love with Margarita years ago. Though things didn't work out as he planned, they remained friends. Now Margarita is coming home from medical school to take care of her sick mother, and David is excited to see her. Even though she's busy with her mother, they get to spend time together and talk about old times, and they realize how much they've missed each other. Ray is an architect, and he has the opportunity to bid on an important renovation project in Guasti which used to be a town filled with vineyards where his great-grandparents worked. But all that remains now is the Guasti Church. He takes Margarita to his job site, and she encourages him to bid on the job. They begin to fall in love, but Margarita tells him that it's a bad idea to begin a relationship again. Her mother is dying, but more importantly, soon she will have to return to medical school. She doesn't trust herself not to hurt him again, but Ray believes in their love and he's willing to wait until she's ready. Okay, so
So hopefully you enjoyed uh, that video. Like I said, this time I did create it and it was a lot of fun. Not perfect at all, again, uh, especially not perfect because I was just learning the program. But uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun and I thought, wow, I, I made the character walk. Wow, he's walking. So you have to kind of be careful when you're an author not to get stuck with uh, doing things that uh, are really enjoyable. Otherwise, you're not going to get back to writing. But it was a lot of fun. So if you liked it, uh, please hit the like button because I know that YouTube likes that. And then uh, also leave me a comment.